This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We are here in London. It's the press conference day for Bivol Betabiev. It takes place on October 12th. Delighted to be joined by Dimitri Bivol. Dimitri, how are you, sir? I'm good, thank you. Does it feel like a long time coming now? Obviously a postponement from the first scheduled undisputed title fight between yourself and Arta, but now we're only weeks away. Yeah, it's uh, it just in two weeks two and a half weeks and um, I feel great that the uh, fight is going to be soon because I had a big journey in my boxing career and now it's, it's going to be final. Does it feel like your whole career is leading up to this date on October 12th, the kind of crowning moment for yourself where you do dare to be undisputed? I, Yeah, of of course. Uh, all my career, all people which I met on my on my way, uh, sometimes people were changing, and all of it could help me, and all of it was doing for this moment to to be on the first in the first position of life favorite. The fight was scheduled for earlier on this year. His Excellency Turkey Al Sheikh kept you active. He kept you on the card. Um, how grateful were you to him for keeping you busy in preparation for this fight? I'm uh, so thankful uh, that uh, he understood me, that I was in my training camp, I was ready to fight. And uh, he understood that I need to fight and he gave me this opportunity. Um, it's, it's great, thank you. Do you feel like this fight maybe wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Riyadh season and His Excellency? Uh, yeah, it's prob. I don't know how it could be if it's not uh, his excellency and uh, it's not Riyad season. I don't know how it could happen. Uh, but of course, when uh, Riyad season came to boxing, it, it they made it easier. They just want this fight. They just want this fight, and they made this fight. For years, you've been defending that WBA belt. Was you getting frustrated that the unifications weren't happening before? Turkey Al Sheikh come in and presented you with this offer? Why of course, of course, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy that uh, in light heavyweight division uh, there is a person who wants to make uh, undisputed fight. Over the past 18 months, two years, Arta better be have has suffered multiple injuries, injuries that has postponed this fight, like we said already in this interview. Do you feel like Artur Peterbiev is still at his best? Still the all-dominant champion that we know he is? Uh, you know, Artur uh, Peterbiev, he's a really good pro fighter and he knows how to fix his problems. I think uh, he could do it well and he could be in the good shape, in the best shape. This is what I'm. Uh, this is what I have in my head. But you're preparing for the best, Arta. Of course, I'm preparing for the best. I'm not thinking about he was injured or the fight was postponed or anything else. No, uh, we agreed about this date. We're gonna fight. He's gonna be in the best shape. Do you respect Arta, but but Herbie ever is fighter. Of course, of course, I respect him. I respect all fighters who uh, went. In the ring against me, uh, yeah, of course, respect. Without giving the game plan away, how do you believe you do beat Arta? Uh, I just believe that I can. Uh, <coughs> I can use all my skills. I need to use all of it. Uh, I have to think fast. I have to be focused all the fight, and uh, I could uh, be winner. Do you think he's the most powerful fighter you've ever fought? Yeah, I believe I believe in this. Yeah, that he's the most powerful and most strong, stronger fighter. Okay, just a couple more. Um, after Canelo Alvarez's fight against Edgar Belanga, before the fight, he was mentioning your name. Seems like he wants that rematch. Obviously, you don't want to look past October twelfth, but do you anticipate a time where you will rematch Canelo? Uh, you know, after my fight against Canelo, we were available for. For rematch, but he chose a couple of another fights, uh, and then we we realized that 
we just need to move move more forward uh, and now I'm moving forward I have my own way if our ways will cross each other no problem I, I will give him uh, very much but now I'm focused only on October 12th at this moment would you view fighting Canelo as looking back and not moving forward No, it's it's just it just look not not back it's it looks on the side it, it's be distracted from uh, my way okay last one um last saturday there was a very big fight in the uk anthony joshua versus daniel dubois did you watch that fight uh to be honest no i i was sleeping because i was in my training camp but of course i watched the best moments uh, dubois uh, made a good job Congratulations! And uh, it's interesting how things sometimes sometimes change. And uh, what I noticed that uh, Anthony Joshua wasn't ready from the first uh, round for this uh, pressure. Excellent, Dimitri. Thank you very much for being to IFL TV. Best of luck with the rest of camp, and hopefully see you in Saudi Arabia. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers.